are allegations that I've violated some criminal laws, which I didn't. While much of the American public sees many of our elected officials as criminals and crooks, the truth is it is rare for them to see the inside of a prison cell. When they do go, many envision they are spending their time playing tennis, having gourmet meals, and often visiting with friends and family. What do you know about the prisons that hold our convicted politicians? Let's take a look. Since the dawn of time, people in charge have taken advantage of others. We'll start with some of the more prominent politicians who have served time and finish with some you may not know. Stick around until the end and let me know in the comments your thoughts on these criminals. In 2006, Rod Blagojevich was re-elected as the governor of Illinois. Later in 2008, a senator from Illinois, Barack Obama, would be elected president of the United States. It would be Blagojevich's job to appoint the person who would finish Obama's term. He would attempt to sell the seat to the highest bidder, leading to federal charges to include wire fraud, attempted extortion, and conspiracy to solicit bribes. In 2011, he would be convicted and sentenced to 14 years in prison. On March 15, 2012, he reported to prison at FCI Inglewood. FCI Inglewood is a low-security prison located southwest of Denver. Named after Inglewood, Colorado, it is actually in Littleton, Colorado. The prison houses over 1,000 offenders with 256 staff supervising them. FCI Inglewood has a detention center for pretrial offenders and a prison camp for other low-level offenders. Spaced over 320 acres, it has two living units with open dorms and individual rooms. While at the prison, Blagojevich formed a band called the Jailhouse Rockers, named after the famous Elvis Presley song. On February 20th, 2020, President Trump commuted Blagojevich's sentence and he was released from prison. He served eight years of his sentence. He would have been eligible for release in 2024. Jesse Jackson Jr., son of the activist Jesse Jackson, was a member of the United States House of Representatives from 2005 to 2012. He represented Illinois' second district. In October 2012, the FBI started to investigate him and his wife for misuse of campaign funds. In in February 2013, he pled guilty to charges including mail fraud and wire fraud. Jackson used $750,000 in campaign money to fund his personal life. He was sentenced to 30 months in prison. His wife, also a Chicago politician, was sentenced to one year in prison. At sentencing, he said, I misled the American people. Jackson reported to FCI Butner Lowe on October 26, 2013. The facility is part of a federal correctional complex and includes FCI Butner Lowe, FCI Butner Medium, and Federal Medical Center Butner. The facility is located in North Central North Carolina, not far from Durham. The complex is large, with a combined population of over 5,000 offenders, while FCI Butner Low has an average population that is closer to 1,000. The facility was built in 1995. At some point, Jackson was transferred to Federal Prison Camp Montgomery. Located in Montgomery, Alabama, the prison camp seems more like a college campus than a prison with tennis courts and hardly a fence. It even has a river view. This has been the prison for several other politicians in the past. The facility houses 397 offenders but has a capacity of 920. It is on the grounds of Maxwell Air Force Base. The facility was built in 1930 with dormitory style housing. The offenders often have work details around the Air Force Base. While in prison, he completed a substance abuse program and received additional cuts in time due to good behavior. Jackson was released to a halfway house on June 22, 2015. Upon his release, the elder Jackson said, it's a cause for celebration. Ray Nagin, the 60th mayor of New Orleans, led the effort to rebuild the city following the devastation from Hurricane Katrina. In 2009, four years after Katrina, he would be weathering his own storm. For the next five years, he would battle allegations that he was taking kickbacks from city vendors, taking vacations in cash in exchange for lucrative city contracts. He would be indicted on January 13, 2013 on charges including wire fraud, bribery, and money laundering. Despite New Orleans having a history of corruption, he would be the first mayor to be charged while in office. Over a year later, on February 12, 2014, he was convicted on 20 counts. It was proven that he had taken more than $500,000 from businessmen. In July of that year, he was sentenced to 10 years in prison. He would begin his sentence on September 8, 2014 at FCI Texarkana. 
FCI Texarkana is a low-security facility located on the border of Texas and Arkansas, hence the name of the city where it is located. The facility has a capacity of 949, but has consistently been running over capacity. It is currently showing a population of 1,275, with 254 staff supervising them. FCI Texarkana opened on August 1, 1940 as a federal prison farm, with expansions in 1967 and 1987 and now operates on 321 acres. Nagin was released on April 27, 2020 due to a push to release some inmates due to COVID-19. His lawyer reported he's a perfect candidate for this, just from a fairness standpoint. He was scheduled to be released in 2023. The Anthony Weiner scandal in 2011 led to national headlines. Weiner was a member of the U.S. House of Representatives for New York's 9th District. He also had ties to Hillary Clinton. He would get caught sending explicit messages to a number of women. Weiner would resign from Congress that same year. In 2013, he would run for mayor unsuccessfully. It would take a twist in 2016 when reports were published that he was sending explicit pictures to a 15-year-old girl. In 2017, he would be charged, convicted, and sentenced for transferring obscene material harmful to a minor. Weiner would report to Federal Medical Center Devens, or FMC Devens, in Ayr, Massachusetts on November 6, 2017 to serve a 21-month sentence. The Federal Medical Facility is classified as having an administrative security level and opened in November 1998. The facility is located 39 miles west of Boston. It houses 980 inmates with a total capacity of 1,186. The facility employs 467 staff that have direct contact with offenders. The Federal Bureau of Prisons reported that FMC Devens is one of two federal facilities that house sex offenders who agree to volunteer for high-intensity programming. The Bureau of Prisons also describes the primary mission of the facility as housing federal offenders who require specialized or long-term medical and or mental health care in a correctional environment. Fort Devens once occupied the land where the facility is located. The size of the fort has been scaled back since its inception, allowing land for the prison. Wiener was released from the prison on May 14, 2019 and will have lifelong registration due to his crime. We have now profiled four politicians that have served time in prison. Some were convicted of crimes directly related to their positions. Others commit crimes of secondary nature. We put our trust in our public officials to do the right thing. It turns out many don't and are caught. If you enjoy this content, like and subscribe. As always, see you next time.